we use evolution to make sense of the world. And of course, we don't want to talk about individual species. We talk about groups. So there's two important concepts that we want to be able to discuss and differentiate. Clades versus grades. Now we're going to talk about clades versus grades. We're actually getting at the heart of some of the deepest and biggest uh, debates in taxonomy. We've actually already talked about clades. This just means a monophyletic group or an ancestor and all of their descendants. Grades are a little bit different, however. Now we are grouping um, organisms with some of the ancestors, but not all of them. Instead, we use a completely different criteria to denote a grade. The, this reflects the degree of evolutionary change, or like how new is it, how old is it? Usually, grades reflect shared ancestral traits or symplesiomorphies, and usually they don't really reflect evolutionary history. It's a little hard to understand just with words, so let's look at some examples here. So here is a phylogenetic tree where we have um, great apes and humans. So you can see humans are more closely related to chimpanzees than anyone else. And there's actually a couple different species of orangutans. So of course, the Sumatran orangutan and the Bornean orangutan are both sister taxa. Um, and the humans and chimpanzees are sister taxa. And you know, the gorilla is also in the middle, cl more closely related to humans and chimpanzees than they are to gorillas. However, a group we commonly talked about are non-human great apes, you know, because they all kind of look very similar. They're big and hairy, fairly smart, but not as smart as us. And we group them together primarily because they're not us. They're not as cool as we are. So this is an example of a grade. And here we're grouping them because they are, you know, they share these characters, but the characters they share are symplesiomorphic or ancestral characters. And we're really grouping them on the basis of what they are not. They are not us. They are not, you know, as beautiful or intelligent or whatever, you know, we like to think we're special. That's a different discussion. But the key here is usually these grades are um, made on the basis of what they are not. Let's look at another primate example. So, you know, on one half we have our strepsirines and the other we have our haplorines. However, not everybody likes to use this classification for primates. Some people like to use a different classification and they group tarsiers with lemurs and lorises and call that prosimii. And new world monkeys, old world monkeys, and apes, of course, are anthropoids or anthropoidea. So here, strepsirines and haplorines, these are true clades. These are monophyletic groups. You can snip them off of the branches and you have an entire part of your tree. Prosimii and anthropoidea, these are grades. Because really, the reason people like to put tarsiers with lemurs and lorises and call that prosimii is because, well, they aren't anthropoids. They are missing the, you know, cool or advanced traits that we see in anthropoids. Like they're all diurnal, they're bigger, there's more social interaction going on. Um, but even though tarsiers lack some of those an classic anthropoid traits, doesn't mean they aren't more closely related to them. So that's why um, we try to get away from using these gradistic um, features. We do not want to use them for our taxonomy. There are, however, scarier examples. Reptiles is one of the terms that is the messiest. So you can see amphibians have a nice clear line here. Um, well, we'll talk about fish in a little bit, um, but reptiles are super messy because we evolved out of reptiles, but also so did birds and dinosaurs. So reptiles, as we define them now, are very, very far from being a monophyletic group. Really, reptiles is a grade. It's not a clade. Um, and we really need to update our taxonomy here. Um, so either you could say reptiles don't exist or we are reptiles. So you could say the entire clade there could be reptiles. Um, so, but probably the worst example is fish. So here are fish. Um, so we have hagfishes, lamprey, lampreys, cartilaginous fishes or sharks, ray fin fishes, most of the thing that you think as a fish, coelacanths and lungfish, you know, those lobe fin fishes where they have those bones in there in their uh, front fins, and that's uh, like prototype limbs. Um, but you can see that's very, very far from being monophyletic. We are grouping fish here on the fact that they aren't tetrapods. And really, we have several of these lineages which go back really far into the base of this tree. Um, 
So there's a couple different ways you could describe this. Fish don't exist. Or you could also think that we are fish. But fish as a category is a grade and isn't a way we should use for phylogenetics. Um, that's not to say that grades aren't useful. Like obviously fish make sense, um, reflecting this degree of evolutionary change and the fact that they are more uh, primitive or plesiomorphic. Um, you know, that is a good functional way to group group organisms. However, we do want our taxonomy to reflect phylogeny. So that means we want to get away from using these gradistic or plesiomorphic um, characters to, to name things. So we want to change everything to use those monophyletic groups um, as the basis of our taxonomy. Um, so let's remind ourselves of the different types of groups. Um, monophyletic are an ancestor and all of their descendants. Paraphyletic are an ancestor and just some of their descendants and polyphyletic, um, generally grouped by homoplasy or there's like multiple ancestors. That's where the poly comes in, in into that name there. Um, and again, when we're talking about taxonomy, we really want to have all of the, only these monophyletic groups. So if you look at how we name things, tetrapods, great, wonderful, beautiful monophyletic clade. Fish, we messed up. Fish is a grade because it um, does not include all of their descendants because tetrapods are descendants of our fish here. So can you explain what are clades? What are, what are grades? And which one should we use as the basis for taxonomy? Mm -hmm.